subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. Hello and welcome to the print. I have with me today the Foreign Minister of Maldives, Mr. Abdullah Shahid. Welcome to the print, sir. And Thank congratulations you very much. on becoming the next president for the UN General Assembly. Uh, sir, to begin with, um, how are you looking at your India visit at this point of time? I know Maldives is a very strategically important partner for us. It is hugely strategic in terms of the neighborhood policy. What would you like to say on how the relationship has progressed? Thank you very much. Uh, it's always uh, good to meet you. Uh, and thank you for the kind wishes. Uh, Maldives and India um, has a relationship that uh, spans uh, centuries. Uh, even before uh, the formal diplomatic relations was established, uh, our people uh, to people contact have been f uh, flourishing. We have been benefiting from each other. Right. We have been uh, friends. Uh, for a long, long time. Uh, the strategic political importance uh, is something that is of very recent past. Uh, but the relationship has really fr flourished uh, after President Soli uh, came to office. You would recall that uh, Prime Minister Modi was in Mali yes. uh, for the inauguration of President Soli's presidency. And President Soli was here in Delhi, uh, exactly one month uh, to the date uh, of his inauguration. Uh, since then, the, the respect, the understanding between uh, the two leaders uh, has uh, paved the way for a level of cooperation and uh, friendship between our two countries that we have never seen before. Right. Um, so, as you rightly said that, you know, after President Ole Soli came to power in 2018, uh, India and Maldives relationship has really flourished. Uh, we've seen Maldives following an India first policy also. However, you also have China as your big partner. What do you have to say about the balancing act that you had to do? Well, uh, for President Solis government, uh, we are friend, friends to all. We are enemy to none. Uh, President Solis came into office promising engagement with the international community and that's what he's doing uh, he is engaging with all countries uh, we have restored diplomatic relations with Qatar which was uh, severed during President Yamin's time we have rejoined the Commonwealth uh, which uh, Maldives left during President Yamin's time so we are back into the international community uh, talking to everyone uh, working with everyone uh, cooperating with everyone and also showing leadership. Mm -hmm. So now coming to the fact that um, Maldives remain geostrategically hugely important for India, now that it is looking at the Indo-Pacific strategy, there is a, a larger issue of peace and security within the Indian Ocean region. How do you think that challenge is sort of shaping up for you? Uh, do you have any further plans on that? If you can shed some light on that. Maldives will always uh, remain as the heart of the Indian Ocean because uh, that is where we are located. We will never be able to move Maldives from where we are to any other place. There is a responsibility uh, on the Maldives to maintain and contribute to peace and stability and prosperity in the Indian Ocean. Because uh, our own uh, development, prosperity and stability and peace is dependent on the prosperity of the Indian Ocean. If Indian Ocean uh, becomes a zone of conflict, then uh, Maldives is going to suffer. So we, on our part, will make sure that we do everything possible uh, to maintain peace, uh, security, uh, stability, and prosperity in the Indian Ocean. Mm -hmm. That is in our self-interest and that we will continue to do. Mm -hmm. But do you see there are potential, um, probably, threats for the Indian Ocean region to become a zone of conflict? We can see the concerns that at least India is having and other countries about uh, increasing Chinese belligerence. What do you have to say to that? Well, we have, uh, after President Soleh became uh, the president, Maldives has joined the Indian Ocean Rim Association. Mm -hmm. uh, these are, uh, th this is an organization of the literal states of uh, the Indian Ocean, mm -hmm. united uh, to maintain uh, peace, stability and prosperity. And uh, Maldives, uh, as uh, I said before, is the heart of the Indian Ocean. Uh, we, we have a greater responsibility to maintain this. We will work with all 
uh, countries uh, to make sure that it happens. Mm -hmm. So now coming to the fact that India Maldives and Sri Lanka had after a long gap the trilateral security dialogue within the NSAs. Do you think that is required, that is key and will that continue? It definitely will continue. Uh, I think it's a very strategic uh, process. Uh, Sri Lanka is uh, geographically the closest to the Maldives uh, and India uh, our closest and uh, largest uh, neighbour. Uh, together the three uh, countries uh, could uh, contribute uh, to maintaining uh, peace and security in, in the region, uh, especially in the Indian Ocean. Maldives, uh, when you look at uh, us on the map, uh, land-wise we might be very small, yeah. but we are a very large ocean state. Our territory is large. Our wealth is in the ocean. So we need to make sure that the wealth is not uh, taken away from us uh, that our territory is not used by non-state actors, uh, be it uh, terrorists, uh, be it uh, mercenaries, uh, pirates, or for that matter, narco terrorists. Uh, we do not want our territory to be used uh, for any purpose like that. Mm -hmm. And it's only through international cooperation, especially amongst the immediate neighbors, uh, cooperation within us uh, that could prevent uh, things like that and uh, that is why the trilateral uh, security mm -hmm. uh, dialogue is so important. Mm -hmm. But any further uh, we, cooperation? We, ha we have uh, had uh, naval uh, and uh, military cooperation uh, joint exercises uh, starting from way back in the 90s, uh, early 90s. Since then uh, we have exercised those the is an annual process, uh, mm -hmm. annual exercise, and uh, our officers and cadets uh, train here in India, uh, and uh, the level of cooperation uh, on both military and police training mm -hmm. is uh, at a very uh, high level. Mm -hmm. And in terms of the joint exercises, do you f do you think that it should be further expanded? It is. Uh, it, it, the joint exercises continue. Mm -hmm. It's an annual process, right. uh, and it has been going on very well. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, I, I think uh, the fact that it has continued since the early nineties, uh, non-stop. Right. It's an annual mm -hmm. uh, exercise uh, that speaks for itself. Whichever government is in place in Maldives or here in Delhi, uh, these uh, cooperation at the military level has continued and uh, it contributes uh, to our forces uh, jointly be able to address uh, issues that may come up. Mm -hmm. So the projects that India is running, the infrastructure yes. projects like the Greater Mali Connectivity and others, do you think uh, they are up to your satisfaction or do you think that's slowing down or if you think that you know it's... No, they are uh, going very well. They mm -hmm. are going very well. These are huge uh, projects, the Greater Mali Connectivity Project, the Hanimadu Airport right. uh, Project the road uh, and water and sanitation projects. These are very uh, extensive large projects and they are going very well. Uh, I think some of the uh, contract signing of uh, major projects will take place uh, within the next mm -hmm. month or so. Mm -hmm. So now coming to your um, next phase where you are becoming the UNGH um, president from September onwards. Now, I think the biggest challenge there will be the changing security situation in Afghanistan. How do you plan to deal with all of these? Do you think uh, a larger conversation is required as to what is happening there? Because it will have an impact uh, amongst all neighbors. I, I will be uh, presiding over the General Assembly, which has a universal membership. Right. But within the United Nations, uh, the maintenance of international peace and security uh, is a, uh, comes uh, under the mandate of the UN Security Council of which uh, India is going to be the president uh, during next month. Right. Uh, so the direct uh, answer to your question is that uh, the Security Council uh, will of course be appraised of the situation in Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. We wish uh, Afghani people, Afghani government all the best. Uh, it's a matter of uh, concern for all of us in South Asia, right. uh, the incidents that are taking place in Afghanistan. But Afghani people are resilient people. 
Afghani government uh, is a democratically established uh, elected uh, government and uh, we wish them all the best. Mm -hmm. But do you also see a chance that you know there could be a, a power sharing deal between the Afghan government and the Taliban? It should be left uh, for the Afghani government to decide. Mm -hmm. So now coming to the fact that when you talk about UN, there's this larger thing that the developing countries have, is that to have a larger say, the expansion of the UN Security Council. Will you be working towards that as well? When we talk about the reform of the Security Council, uh, I always try to remind the audience that Maldives was amongst the first 10 countries who signed the uh, letter to the UN Secretary General uh, requesting uh, for the inclusion of an agenda item uh, for the reform of the Security Council. Right. And this was way back in the 1970s. It's a process ongoing and uh, I hope uh, that the process would be concluded soon. Uh, it's a membership driven uh, process. Uh, but the urgency of uh, getting this done is uh, given the fact uh, that the council does not reflect the political reality uh, of uh, today mm -hmm. and uh, that is not correct. Mm -hmm. So my last question to you will be on your relationship uh, with the United States. We saw under the uh, previous Trump administration, uh, former Secretary of State Mike Pompeo visiting there. Under the Biden administration, do you see, uh, see things changing or you think same level of cooperation is there from the uh, American side? I'm very happy that uh, we continue to have the same level of cooperation. Uh, we are engaged uh, with the, the new administration in the US. Uh, they are continuing to uh, move forward uh, with the commitment to open uh, the US embassy in the Maldives. Uh, we are grateful that they are ready to give uh, vaccines uh, to the Maldives. Uh, we are delighted uh, that the U.S. has come back into the Paris Principle mm -hmm. and that they are taking leadership on environment uh, issues. Uh, in, in many ways, uh, we are uh, very closely working. Mm -hmm. So climate change is an important issue. It's, a, it's one of the most important issues for Maldives. Do you think uh, you can jointly work with India also on that? We are working very closely mm -hmm. with India. We have been working very closely with India. Mm -hmm. Indian leadership uh, at the United Nations and International Fora on uh, climate related issues is outstanding and I applaud the Indian le leadership for that. Okay. Thank you so much, Mr. Thank you. It was Thank a pleasure you. talking to you. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you for watching The Print. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel.